Winston, is that you, love? Is that you, love? Hello everyone, welcome in. My name is Kai Zamit. I'm a director, cinematographer and writer based in the south of the UK. And today in this video we're going to be continuing our journey where we cover all the animated shorts Overwatch has produced. And today's video we're looking at the animated short titled Recall. Ooh. So without further ado, let's go shall we? Play the tape. Overwatch Animated Short Recall. Okay, we've got very light tones there. This tells me it's going to be an innocent story. Oh, we're following, uh, was it Winston? Look at the music, yeah? The music is telling me all the information I need to know. How he feels. The music is a character, speak, but it speaks directly to you. I yeah, call it non-diegetic. Because it's sound that you don't hear in the world. Look at the camera's always moving. I love it. So cinematic. Got these widescreen bars. Now, now, no need for that, Winston. Your heart rate is through the roof. I told you to stop monitoring my vitals, Athena. Very Loving these the voice acting on that. I don't like those fucking glasses, though. <laughs> Twenty-nine seconds since your last cardio workout. Remember, a healthy body is a healthy mind. That's why I have this. <laughs> Nice. Nice little bit of a story dump there. Even that was moving, wasn't it? When he spat the lid out and it rolled and the camera went with it. It trucked with it. It's so pretty looking, isn't it? How they do that with their animation, they don't have any bags, they don't have any shadows here. If they do, it's very light, it's very beautifully Every rolled off. You see news of this sort, we go through this. Oh, initiate I Overwatch recall. Recalling Overwatch agents to active duty comes with great risk. The Petrus Act clearly states any Overwatch activity is deemed illegal and punishable. Oh, by I know. You're right. Well, they're like vigilantes. That's the way the world is. I thought they were like some sort of super police. But I do miss the old days. Mate, do we get a fucking a cinematic trailer um, animation for all of these? Okay, look at the camera. See, it's dollying in. What's that mean? Something important is about to happen. It does normally mean that when it's on a close-up of a picture or whatever. Do you know what? It didn't even occur to me why he's super smart. Or the fact that he can talk. I just believed it because it's an animation. I think you have something that belongs to me. So he was a normal monkey or gorilla. Oh, it's okay. You're not in trouble. Oh, I'll trade you. Okay. You they foreshadowed that, so now we've got a backstory of that. Well, there's not much to see from in here, kiddo. But you know there's more out there. Don't you? Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> so I mean, with the bags, look, there's, they, that's why they look so youthful and young and pretty. You that's why they light you. It's almost like they've got a pretty light from the front. Even though they've got like, a low-key moment here. Contrast. Athena. See? It's a style of animation that they've decided. <laughs> I'm still munching on a fucking banana. Oh man, I like the uh, kind of kill zone characters. It's very light hearted though, isn't it? It's got like Avengers like motifs. Oh, is that the character I like? That, that fucking deaf looking one. Oh, he's banging. I'm getting like Bumblebee v vibes with this. Security protocols failing. Winston, Reaper is extracting the Overwatch. Oh, and he's called Reaper. I fucking knew that banana peel was going to come into it. <laughs> he just let go of it. See, that center framed him. 
slight adjustment. Oh, dude, this character is so cool. And he fucking floats around. Dude, the diegetic sounds. Wow. Do you know what? Apart from please don't end it. This is so good. It's beautiful lighting. Yeah, the camera's not always moving, but even then it was moving down slightly. Very, very subtly. I thought we were going to get like a back sort of Project X or something. 1987 movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Heartbreaking. This is quite innocent. I guess he goes with this PG vibe. Always remember. Never accept the world as it appears to be. Dare to see it for what it could be. Yes, cinematic that looks. And why? Because they're backlit. Winston. Winston. Again, cinematic. Going to have this silhouette. I'll be sure to send them your regards, monkey. Oh, that's interesting. Not a monkey. He didn't get the. <laughs> I'm a scientist. Nice. Oh shit, so how's that gun? Did you kill him? No, they don't die in this, do they? I can tell they don't have characters that die in this. Really like this very Virus contrasty look. I'm running diagnostics on the core database. Restoring systems. He's gonna do it, isn't he? So is this obviously set before the first ever one. Never accept the world as it appears to be. Dare to see it for what it could be. So he doesn't actually need the glasses. He's not blind, is he? He's just... Mate, even the close-up, the fucking macro shots, the texture in it. Look at these close-ups of it, yeah? The human connections there. So you leave a lasting impression. So interesting. So he did not, he didn't die, did he? He kind of got disintegrated into ash and obviously he came back to alive. But I'm kind of getting these PG vibes. Not only is the animation telling me that, he's screaming it at me, um, but it was the guns. When that Reaper character pointed the guns to finish Winston's character off, you noticed that he, you didn't see the barrel, yeah? So if you see like more modern movies and things like that, and uh, there's one like with the new Deadpool trailer, and he points the gun at him, you can actually see the barrel. They didn't show that, they, they showed it off screen. And I thought that was really interesting. Then they did the Reaper thing. It just tells me that this is a world where it's very PG, they don't kill the characters off. But no, I really liked it though. It was, it was kind of a nice origin story. Um, again, I fucking hate those glasses. And he doesn't need them. He just wears them as a memento for his previous, not owner, friend or whatever it is. But the storytelling is, he's so good, the way the camera is always moving, it's beautifully done. It's got that very cinematic vibe, isn't it? It looks like an actual movie, like a higher quality movie. And I think I said this in the last one, or at least the last few, I would watch a TV show like this. If they made a single player game, because I'm aware that it's, it's purely multiplayer, that's why I, I don't do multiplayer games, I would fucking play that. If that was single player, got to play each of the characters, each their own their own chapter. That'd be banging. If they're like this to this quality, oh, chef's kiss, really good. Okay, you got the normal, they start with a Blizzard logo and they normally have like a little light, uh, a little light melody, normally telling you the character of how they are. I've noticed that with all of them so far, I believe. And 
Um, what's this one? This one's got like... And the instrument, the way it's done, it's very... Then you get the diegetic sound. The Foley World, our establishing shot. Look at how they look, they framed it. You've got your signs here. Look at this beautifulness, yeah? But the music alone told me... He, the state of mind of this character, Winston's character. You've got the Overwatch tune in there. Starting to build that light motif in there. So that means a reoccurring theme. So we keep hearing it. And look at the camera. It's always moving. Starts out wide. Dolly, dolly, dolly. It's closer and closer. This one, it's not moving. Oh, in fact, me, it is moving. What I was going to say is, normally, nine times out of ten, I like my camera to move. Yeah, it makes it look more cinematic in everything I shoot. Granted, I work in commercials. Normally means it's always fucking moving. Normally too robotic is, is my argument. But with cinema, it means... Basically comes from the term kinema, which means movement, yeah? But normally what I like is is the subject... Over the camera is moving itself, getting you from A to B in the story, it flows, but you only do it if the story requires it. Or in this case, the camera is static, but the subject is moving. Like this. And then... And then the camera moves. Really nice. Very delicate on the score. Yeah, and then we've lost the score. This is diegetic sound, yeah? The sound of the world that we're listening to, yeah? So the character can hear it. Does that make sense? Non-diegetic would be the music that we are hearing. And by, cu and by cutting the music out, it makes you look at this more and the camera's dollying in more. It's coming in. And then when the music come back, we're back to, react back to normal now. What they're doing is they're showing like passing of times, aren't they? Now, now. Of him, no his process. I love this character development. Like, he is a gorilla, isn't he? Yeah. And <laughs> he's a fucking scientist, yet they've got a big rubber tire in it. I, lo I love it. I told you to stop monitoring my vitals, Athena. You could never do this in, in Hollywood, as in the way films are done now. You probably could with the camera. What I'm talking about is actual camera motion. Like, Watch. Starts there, the camera is pedestalling down. He comes up close. We probably could. But he wouldn't look as nice as this. Because the fo your focus puller would be fucking going through the roof. And the problem is they'd add a CGI element in it. And it will, your brain going, that don't look right. This is why I think I'd love to work in animation. The more I watch these, the more I think about it. Because there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff you can do with animation that you can't do in real life. Now, it, there's always problems. That's why you get the movie games, uh, get, sorry, games and stuff like this. And when it, they get an adaptation into real life cinema, it never looks as good because it's bloody hard work. You need more people. Again, look at this. Camera static. So when we get our moving shot like that, little zoom in, focus pulled. Planting the seed that all this information, this is here to plant the seed to the next bit. This is what this big lid is for, and it's brightly coloured, and I love it because it's orange. I'm a big fan of orange, as you can tell. Now the camera goes back in. Yeah, why is the camera dolling forward? Because it's always moving. But it's longer on this one because he really want to tell what he's looking. But yet for him, he's moving in the shot, the camera stays static. Now we're dialing in again. Slowly doing Look at the edges. You can just see it. That's again I've seen this game. That was in the first one. That bloke was playing it. Is this, is this another of their games? Is that what that is? What is that shit? I recognise that. Never played it though. Proper Easter eggs. Planting the seed for later. See, why have they done this? Why have they added this? They did it to make it look better. By not having it, just it coming up, most people would have just had... If you're new to CGI or working with VFX, as in After Effects, they'd have had this come up screen and they'd have left it static. The fact that they added that little... Whoop, makes it look more expensive and look better. Every time you see news of this sort, we go through this. I remind you, recording Overwatch agents... To so we haven't got a face, but we got a voice, yeah? Because it's what she's saying is important. We Watch your camera. I remind you, 
Recalling Overwatch agents comes in. active duty comes with great risk. And look at this framing. Look, just this little subtle framing here. Foreground, mayground, background. If that wasn't here, it would be clean. But by having that there, it makes you your eye go up to him. So you draw your audience's eye. States, any Overwatch activity is deemed illegal. And yeah, I'm not too sure on this. So are they vigilantes oh, no. then? This lovely low key lighting. This what this is is what you call cozy lighting. So you got your blue lighting, your bluer Kelvin, yeah, going quite high up, as in the Kelvin rating. And then you got your like your twenty seven hundreds. You're more of a warmer by having the two together. That teal and orange look. One it looks American. Two it makes it look cozy. Look at this lovely wrap here, and it just you have the contrast in light sources. It just looks more appealing to the eye. That's the way the world is. Again, the music's reflecting how he feels. More the piano kicks in. You're right. You're right. That's the way the world is. And now we're getting the piano. Remember, guys, music is a character that speaks to you directly. And it's about when do you use the music as well. Look at this. Beautiful. Right, and the reason why I say it's beautiful is because you, technically you'd be like, well, why is it not in the middle? It's a really important thing. Well, no, it is important, but look what they're doing. His hand comes in because you've seen, the, by now you would have seen the first one. So you're like, oh, can you keep getting all these characters? You've seen bits of them, but you know who she is from the previous one. It was them two, wasn't it? Yeah. Lifts it out of the way. Look at this r composition. Yeah, rule of third. Boom, boom, boom. By having his hand in the way, it draws your eye over here. And look at this accent of orange. It works perfectly with this. But even the bloody photograph's got a bit of um, blue on it. Look, right in the corner. Vignetted on it. Moving in. Flash to white. It normally means we're going back in time. We're, we're having a, a moment. A little lens. Look at this shit on the lens. Watch. Oh, he is actually. Oh, so he does actually have bad eyesight. Huh. I just thought it was like a memento sort of thing. I think you have something that belongs to me. Hand them over. See, when you look at the framing of this, as in what's in the shot, it looks quite boring, doesn't it? Yeah. This doesn't, because he's here. Yeah, but this shot, it looks, it does look quite boring, doesn't it? And it's not moving either. But it's fine. You don't always have to have your composition always full. Yeah? If the story doesn't require it. They could have added like a shopping, they could have had a cart here with some toys here, couldn't they? But they want to make it nice and clean it's, when this guy comes in. You're not in trouble. Look at this dirty framing. Oh, I'll trade you. We've seen this did before. We've, they've planted the seed with us for ages, yeah? Harold Winston. So is that where his name comes from? There you go, buddy. Oh yeah, look. They actually planted the seed there. I didn't see it the first time. That's why they zoomed in on it. Do you know what I mean? These clever little um, story beats. It's not like his intelligence has gone into him, is it? Oh, I want to know how he got super smart, or has he just been experimented on? See, look at the camera. It's always moving. That's why it gets, you know, that's why this eight minute film feels, it just flows. Yeah, from A to B. So we're constantly, always flowing. I'm detecting intruders. Look how powerful he looks. He's getting into beast mode now. Athena. Look at, when you look at the character, yeah, if the camera is probably on his chest level, shooting here, this is very cinema. But by having his eyes above the 180 line, it looks like he's in control when it comes to the power status. Look at this. I love this. It's very like Batman-esque, isn't it? I didn't even see him. I just thought it was a foreground element. It went until he chomped on it. <laughs> Look, there's little subtle lighting differences. Rather than having just darkness or a bit of blue there, teal, orange. It's clever. Mate, I'd love to work on one of their animations. 
even just to, just to work with them, just to, to visually see what they do. Maybe I could interview one of them or something. I don't know. Find out what the process is, what, why they did what they do and who gets... I know the guy that directs them, he reached out to me. We didn't reach out. He left a comment once saying he enjoyed one of my breakdowns on one of these. So, might be worth a shot. Love this. They plant the seed for later. The sound, yeah. Dum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum -ba -ba -bum. Cut the music. Palette cleanser. Sound, by the way, is 70%. I love this shit. Look at that. Like oh, kill zone characters. Where it comes across there. So good. If it was anamorphic, by the way, you get like little spheres and that. That's the only thing I'd say they could probably make shoot these on anamorphic lenses. Make it look, maybe they do. Because it is sharp and they're soft. Hmm. Anamorphic is basically a style of lens in movies, how they film. I won't go into too much detail about it, otherwise this will be really long. And I'm trying to make these breakdowns quicker now. So you guys can get through them. Yeah, by having that moment, sound is 70% of your picture. 70. That's why horror films work with their crap visuals. As in they can be noisy, grainy, dark, can't see what the hell's going on. Right, okay, so he's kicking their ass, right? A gorilla's going mental. Yeah, he's going all Optimus Primal on their ass. But the music is keeping it lighthearted. Woo! Woo! All this stuff. Even when you've got guns pointing at them, yeah? It makes it still look lighthearted. Look where the gun is. It's right off camera. Most movies now, they'd have the barrel lens right about here, shooting almost at you. They don't do that because you are... You don't because it, it basically lifts up the age rating. If it can't, the bullet, the gun was here at you, you would either one, you wouldn't be able to put it on TV for starters, and two, not this it is for TV, but you you lift up the age rating because it looks dangerous, like you're going to actually kill somebody or hurt someone. When it's right over here, you can kind of get away with it a little bit. What I love about it, this these fight scenes with Winston. The camera is floaty. It's always on like a Dutch angle. Is it because he's he's not uncontrollable? Like he, he's just like all rrr, it's primal rage. So the camera floats. I've noticed it's always off its axes, and I like it. Wait, well, look at this bastard, man! I love him. Love it. Watch this. Watch the zooms on the camera. Going out, the kinetic energy, the things prongs go up. The camera stays with him. These are good close ups. Sometimes with these Hollywood movies, they're just too much. You can't see what's going on. See, look, we knew that was important. He's walking forward, kinetic editing. You goes in, zap, zap. Planted, just planted that seed familiar. And there he's, I'm special, I'm guessing this is like a special ability that he has. Is that comedy? Huh? Yeah, mate. <laughs> it's stuff like that. And the music, it's all lighthearted, isn't it? Imagine you change the music. Yeah, to something dark and cinematic like, do, 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 do. You'd be like, oh my God, this is crazy. I love this, by the way. Centre framed. Yeah, watch what happens. He comes crashing through. Camera static. Now the camera moves. Goes back to him. Then he clicks his neck with that diegetic sound. Have I got to do everything myself? And he floats off. He looks so cool because he's wrapped in darkness. See, this is really close. But they did it quickly. They got... They went back. And by what they've done here is... What they've done is they've created a titan, okay? A titan, in, in, in terms, is you build up your character. Anime is brilliant for this. They build up a character and they make a titan. Oh my god, he's so powerful. Yeah, or a villain is so powerful. And then when they clash, you're like, holy shit, here we go. For this... What they, how they did him is we shot up at him looking down at Winston. They, these goons beat him up effectively, yeah? And now you get him. 
Ooh! Uh, clicking his neck. That's enough. The music tones down. Net, they've built the character up. So he has to have his moment in the sun to make him a titan. This is it. They built him up. They basically look like he's bested the the protagonist, yeah? Nice colour palette. We've had a blue scene. We're now into our gold scene. You took these because you wanted to see if there was more out there. Mate, even his grey hair's got blue in it. Because <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Blue and orange. It's in there somewhere. You wanted to see if there was more out there. They just work beautifully on camera. It's just it's lovely. Well, see for yourself. Mate, he even sounds like the guy from Project X. Well, see for yourself. It's not the same voice actor. Who the fuck's that actor? But it's a film from 1987. I remember watching it as a kid and I just found it heartbreaking. And I, I watched it so many times, but I haven't seen it for over 20 years. But it's the bloke that plays Ferris Bueller, but even looks like him a little bit. But it's kind of got that vibe. Like, you know, it's not experiments, but you know something's happened. But they still made it PG. I bet you youngsters watching are like, what the fuck is that? I'm never going to watch a movie. Watch it. Always remember. Look at this, lovely, isn't it? Accept the world as it appears to be. Dare to see it. Why are they not dollying in for a powerful uh, bit of dialogue? Because they want to show you the world for what it could be. You don't always dolly in. You don't have to always dolly in for a powerful line of dialogue or a facial expression. You can do out. Okay, we're back to this character. He's still having his moment in the sun. And he looks venomous, doesn't he? Because he's silhouetted, got a blue palette, yeah? Really emphasising him. There's not even, you can't even see his face. This is a problem when you backlight, yeah? Backlighting is, makes it look more cinematic. But you go, well, shit, how am I going to get around this silhouette? Get a little pickup light. So for a wide, you just do it a little bit on him. So you can see a little bit of detail. So on the close-up, it makes sense that there is a bit of a catchment. Because otherwise, if you've got a wide shot here, and then on your close-up, he's got, you can see his detail. It looks a bit odd to the eye. See, if you just cut straight to him, if you went from here, yeah, this shot, to that close-up shot of, I almost called him Death, Reaper, it wouldn't work. But I cut into Winston's character, you see the blue light, it looks like he's coming to a light, it allows that, that passing of time. And that way they kept the evilness of him in the darkness. So this is the guns shot I was talking about. Normally, that was real... Because technically, yeah, he's looking, he's almost breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, so he's talking to us, which is Winston. So why are the guns not pointed there? He should be like that. Yeah, but he's not. He's like that. So he's going to shoot what his shoulders around the side of him. Because it's PG. That's monkey. I'm not a monkey. Little video zoom. Monkey. I don't normally like him, as I've mentioned on multiple ones of these. But it's fine for animation. It works. Again, the music's cut out. It's going to play an important part. And now you've got to have Winston's moment in the sun. He's Titan moment, yeah? They weren't, these are not built up as much as I'd like because they're very short films. Yeah? You've got eight minutes. You, you're just, they're, they're trying to give you backstory, yeah? They're trying to give you exposition that way. Uh, when it comes to the other character, he has had his moment in the sun. He's built him up. So when you have multiple films and they all come together. Oh my God, isn't there a film where they all come together? That must be epic because they've all had their moment in the sun. We've had the build up. But now it's Winston's turn. No I love that. Beats his chest because he's a gorilla, isn't he? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, good. I wonder why he cut to black there. Why do you cut to black? Oh, because they want to show the computer component. Okay, that makes sense. Technically, they should have just... Oh, they did do it. They did pull it out. Okay, yep. Makes sense. They cut full to black to refresh your eyes. 
So when they pull it out, it makes sense. I think they should have done it a little bit quicker or pulled it out slightly more. Just keep the flow of it. Mate, even in his reflection, he's got a catchment, doesn't he? Look, even in his eye, he's got a catchment there because they want you to look at the eye. You look at it. Right, I don't know if I've mentioned it in this one, but I'll, I'll mention it uh, here. So if you're into CGI's in these animations, or you work with it, or you're, maybe not drawings, but you're creating stuff in CGI. Yeah, all this Unreal Engine 5 and all this stuff that you can make stuff in there. If you want, why does this shot look almost real life? Why does it look really believable? And the reason is because it's low key in the shadows. Yeah, this is why these League of Legends look almost lifelike. And they do because of the lighting. You're using the contrast, the shadow, to shape your imagery and the light sources to wrap your subject or whatever you're filming so your eyes will be drawn to the light. So we're only, we, all our brain can work out is detail here, 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 here. Yeah, and these little bits here. So we're, our brain's cutting out, it's filtering out the black. And that's why, so when you play games or you watch CGI stuff and it's almost like, wow, is that real life? It's because of the contrast. To be fair, as technology gets better, it's going to start looking more photorealistic. But when it comes to animation like this, which is very clean, that Betamax style, Disney, Pixar, it looks more realistic in these moments. Where now, it looks fake, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like he's made of fucking, what, clay or whatever he's... I mean, he's super smooth, no detail. But he did it, compare it to the previous shot, yeah? Whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, here, yeah, to Systems. here, it's a big difference. Camera dolling in, we know it's important. Camera's still dolling in. What I love it is when you get these sort of moments, they start out wider and they get tighter and tighter and tighter. So when you get to these close-ups of these characters, powerful stuff. Yeah. So those close-ups now, really, they hit you. Because we've had the wides do the job for us. Wide, getting closer. Wide-ish, getting closer. Medium shot, getting in close, getting in close. We're back here. Look at this foreground element. Our eyes are over here because this is in the way. Boom. Powerful. Ah. That just tells you where they come from. That's really cool. McCree, Genji, Reinhardt. We've done Reinhardt. Tracer. From the UK. I'm right down the bottom here, I am. See? These work. One, they're doing it to show the information. They're showing you characters that, that, are, coming, that are coming soon. But look how realistic this looks. To a certain degree, realistic, realism, yeah? Look. Because of the shadow. But these close ups work, man. Because. Winston? Is that you, love? Oh, it's been too long. They work because we've had those wides. Winston? Is that you, love? Is that you, love? Oh, it's been too long. Yes. They really sell the uh, British accent, don't they? And then we've got a really... Oh, no, we do. Yes. And the cat. So now we're bringing our Titan back. Yeah, in very uh, Nickelodeon style, I call it. To be continued. Love it. Look, Dutch angle is slightly off because we know something is not right. Overwatch. Pre -order now Brilliant. Early... And they have it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my reaction and the breakdown to the recall because I absolutely loved it. The more I break these down, the more I fall in love with them. Because I, I enjoyed this one, but the same as the last one. And the one before that, when I break them down, I see the magic in the cinematography and the direction style of these. I fall in love with them even more. I can't wait. There's loads of these to cover, and I'm really excited about watching the rest. So, again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye-bye. Out of time!